<laughs> this dude's jamming over here, man. He's, he's just chilling. Not too sure what happened here. It looked like somebody was going straight and somebody's making a turn. It's kind of hard to say. Whenever, whenever you make a turn, if you are making a turn, you don't have the right of way. But other than that, it's kind of hard to say. And once your airbags deploy, it becomes very, very expensive to fix the vehicle. I'm not too sure what's the price on airbags being deployed, but it's pretty expensive. As you can see, that windshield was cracked. I don't, I'm not sure if somebody's head hit that windshield or what, but that windshield is cracked. It's kind of hard to say if somebody's head hit it or if it just cracked upon impact. Boston Fire Department respond up here. Fast response by Boston Fire Department. Yeah. I'm not sure if they got EMS coming to this call or not, but they, they might have them come check them out. There's always an accident here though. I don't know how that happened. I, I have no idea. And the airbags came off? Yeah, the airbags. Once the airbags deploy, that gets very expensive, too. Mm -hmm. There's an ambulance making its way up there. It might be to come into this accident. I'm not sure. That's this is how bad it is. I don't even. Cross no, it's a very, it's a dangerous intersection. You're right. Yeah, it is. It's very. My son's school bus is right here. Wow. It's a very dangerous intersection. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's a very dangerous intersection. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's a very dangerous intersection. You guys gotta pull that traffic. Somebody run? See? No, everybody stay. As far as we know. Is 
this just happened like not even five minutes ago. Really? Yeah. And I, so many accidents happen at the same area. I don't know if, if the, the lights are not timed right or people. I think the lights are timed right. I think they be trying to beat it. That, yeah, I think you might be right. So they, she said they might be trying to beat the light, and that's probably what they're doing because so many accidents happen at the same intersection. People trying to beat the light or do something they shouldn't be doing. Um, just so you know, if you're turning, you don't have the right of way. I don't. I, I cannot express that enough. A anytime you're making a turn, you do not have the right of way. A lot of traffic up here too. This is a very highly traveled area. I don't know if you can see how much traffic is backed up down there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Traffic is backed up all the way. Uh, down to the next light. All the way down there. About to run this guy off the road here. That's crazy. I'm not too sure. Like, like I said. Not too sure exactly what these cars were doing. Looked like one was going straight. Looked like one was making a turn. Um, it's kind of hard to say. But we're at the corner of um, Quincy and Warren Street, where the majority of car accidents do happen along this area right here. If it's not Quincy and Warren, it's Quincy and Blue. But it's those two intersections that get a lot of car accidents. And if you don't believe me, just do the research yourself. See, there's a car in the right-hand lane, left-hand lane that's not making, not making a left-hand turn. That red car right there. He's, he's in the wrong lane. He's definitely in the wrong lane. He's driving real slow. So that, you know, drivers get impatient when they see cars doing that. He's sitting in the left-hand lane only. And he's in there going straight. So... Okay, we go. Just want to just give you a quick look at what's going on around here. One one. Four two five five. The ending miles we're going to be six four two one five point one. Fifteen thirty hours. Is there another unit trying to contact? And this car here is going to have to go either right or go around those cars. You see how these lights work? They got the arrow to go left. So anybody in the far left lane is supposed to, supposed to go left. Now this bus is gonna have a tough time make, making this turn. He can do it, but it's gonna be a little tough. One, so one second, he's backing up. You got it, keep going, keep going. You got it. Yeah. 
and this, these streets are not designed for big vehicles guys just so you know the city streets that we have right now are not really designed for these overweight vehicles Check a mail hanging out across the, the, the spacing and the traffic signaling is not designed for big big vehicles this is one of many incidents taking place in the city but they got the four way four way cross four way stop so it is what it is Now when the light turns green, you, you got a left arrow. When you get a left arrow, anybody in the left lane should be going left. If they don't go left, it's because they're trying to pass the cars in the right hand lane. Like I said, this is one of these intersections that's... This is a school zone. Well, it should be a school zone. But there's a school right here. So all this technically should be a school zone. And the speed limit should be no more than 15 miles an hour in the school zone. Look at this right here. Who knows what they're doing? How is that car going when that car is going? That doesn't make any sense at all. You gotta go wide. You gotta go wide. You didn't go wide enough. She's definitely gonna go wide enough. You definitely didn't go wide enough. You gotta go wider than that. You're gonna hit the you're gonna hit the car. You gotta go wide, man. You gotta go wide, because you're gonna hit that. It's gonna be tough to back up now. The police officer right there, she's not even helping him. Yeah, you, you're gonna you're gonna hit the car if you if you keep going. You're gonna hit the car. Your back wheels your back wheels don't clear that. So you're gonna you should have went wide when you came around. It's gonna be kind of tough now, but you still gotta back up either way. Yeah, but this car's behind you. Hold on one second. Hold on. This this is a mess. Hold on. So I can help him back up right quick. Go ahead, go ahead back up. Go ahead, go ahead. Back straight up, straight, straight back. As much as you need, take all you need. Whatever you need, take it. Man, you got to go wide though, you got to go real, real wide. Go, go wide, go wide, go left, go right, then go left. You gotta cut it sharper than that. You gotta cut it sharp though, man. You gotta go sharp right, then sharp left. He didn't go wide enough the first time, that's why. You gotta go sharp, sharp right, and they go. Come, if you come this way, yep. Now swing. There you go. Keep swinging. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. One second. Just back straight. Go ahead. Or you, should, you should be able to clear that from there. You should, have, you should be able to clear that. If he can't clear that, I'm going to have to teach him how to drive. You got to go in and out. That's all you got to do, buddy. You guys make this driving the bus too easy. Like, like I seen that he should have made a wide turn before he even made the wide turn. I don't see how he can drive that bus with a license. There's no reason, there's no way he should have a license to drive that bus with kids on there. There's no way that he should have a CDL driving that bus and can't drive it. I can drive that bus better than him. Trust me, I can do it. I can guarantee you. 
I've driven buses like that before without a license, so I, I know I can drive that bus. <laughs> it's supposed to have a class two CDO for passengers. And um, how could you not know? Well, I'm not even gonna, we're not even gonna get into that because that's, that's a whole different story. Anybody who, any, everybody who drives, you judge your distance before you make your distance. If that makes any sense. Judge your distance before you make your distance. This is this is like an, another accident waiting to happen because the way these people are driving and they're like weaving in and out of traffic, which is not safe. Not safe at all. I don't understand how these cars are going at the same time. Somebody just ran a red light. That car there ran ran the red light. Cause there's no way that car could be going the same time that car is going. What's going on there? You gotta make these streets kind of dummy proof because you know what it is? No one knows the, the lane that they're supposed to be in. They put those little dots in the road that shows you your, your boundaries when you're making the turn. Maybe people can understand those boundaries, but it looks like people don't understand the boundaries that they should be making. Speaking of boundaries, this one intersection along Columbus Avenue is very dangerous. I'm gonna do a video on it and you're gonna, you tell me. Hopefully between this week and next week, I'm gonna do a video on where they're making the bus route. They're making this crazy bus route on Columbus Ave. It's a very dangerous turn because it doesn't make any sense. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video on it so you can see what I'm talking about. Now they're waiting for the tow trucks to show up. And this is just, you know, if you see all the traffic that we have here, it's crazy. Everybody's beeping their horn because they can't get through the intersection. And this is like school buses are dropping kids off, MBTA buses are picking people up. You know, you got car accidents in the middle of the street. So you got a whole lot of stuff going on at the same time. You got a police cruiser coming from the other direction. You got two cruisers coming from two different directions. I'm not too sure what they got going on there. I didn't, I didn't hear any major call go across the radio, so they're coming from two different directions. The crews are coming from the top of Warren, there's one coming from the bottom of Warren. Um, there's one down there, it's on the wrong side of the street if you can see it. Way down there. Right there. It's making his way up on the wrong side of the street. I guess they were, they were coming to this scene right here. I guess they were late getting up here. And Boston police have a tough job, so it's like they can't be everywhere. It's tough for them to get everywhere. They're trying to be everywhere, but it's very tough. What do you think about this intersection? Think it's a dangerous intersection? Okay, I'm four, seven, one, can I get bells? They touch the seven. Going up. <laughs> that's a, <laughs> he might he might know. He might <laughs> sometimes kids know more than we know. Be careful, be safe out there. <laughs> and that young man right there was saying now if you didn't hear it, I'm not gonna repeat it, but he was saying one car was coming from one way, one car was coming from the other way. So they got one tow truck here already. It looked like we got um, auto service and tire. He's probably gonna take the gray car, but who knows which one he'll take. And it's gonna tie up the street for a little bit so until they tow this car. Grab the gray one. The gray one's the one the one that's causing most of the problem right now anyway. The gray one is is and he got he got the automatic wheel lift so it makes it a little bit easier to lift it. But it's front wheel drive, so you might have to reposition yourself. Four eleven arrived. 
<laughs> Actually, it's rolling, so that's good. Maybe it's not front wheel drive. It's actually rolling, so either it's out of gear or it's rear wheel drive. What's your one? I don't know about BMWs. Maybe BMWs are rear wheel drive. I thought they were front wheel drive. My, some of my viewers probably know about it better than I do. So they get to wait for one more tow to tow this car. Somebody pushed the button. I don't know who pushed the button, but they, somebody pushed the button and gave it a four way stop. Look like a car accident. I don't know who who was in the wrong, but that gray car that they just pulled over there hit the side of that car right there. Like I said, uh, it's kind of hard to tell who was doing what, but. She, I so, heard it from my house, and I just. You heard it from your house? Yeah, I live on the street over there. Damn, that's, that must have been a hard hit then. Yeah, the thing was speeding. I heard him speeding past my like through here. Oh, so it had to be that gray car then. Yeah. Yeah, because this car came from this direction. So it had to be that car there speeding. Yeah. I don't know if they got traffic cams up here. They yeah, might. Like car left. Um, there was a woman in that car. I think it was a woman in the. Um, I'm not sure if that happens, but also. One went in the ambulance, I think one left. Yeah, I, I, think she, I think she's giving him, the other person, a ride. Yeah, you too, man. You're safe out there. He said he heard it from his house, which is. The next block over. That's a good. That's a good distance to hear that bang from that distance over. Yeah. Um. He said the car was speeding, you know. He, he said he heard it speeding. So if he heard it, you know, somebody was speeding. Who knows? Bravo four five one. Four five one. So I'm going to be giving um, one of the operators from the car to ride uh, to 73952. She got the license plate and the bumper in her hand. That's a good photo op right there for the Boston Police. Hold on. Got to give a photo op for this young lady. Probably 115. Uh, they're uh, with the permission of the uh, car. I know it's definitely going to change the turn up here first. It's crazy though. <laughs>
So he can't move. The reason why he can't move this car off the road, because apparently last time he did move a car off the road uh, as a courtesy, there was a tow truck company that cussed him out for moving the car off the road. Um, man, what if we could change that? We, we could change that, you know. We can make a policy where any tow truck can move him off the road for a safety reason. And they get mad about it, just get mad about it, right? With, with, I'm a, right here. Yeah, but if, if somebody gets mad about you moving a car off the road, that, that, that could be a problem. If they can't get down fast enough, that's their fault. And these tow trucks are busy, don't get me wrong, they are busy cleaning up a lot of these car accidents on the road. And sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. So they're gonna have a traffic jam anyway. The only cars that can go is the cars coming from this area here. Just go if you're going, because you're gonna be there for a while if you don't go. MJS. I think that's kind of a new tow truck company. I haven't, they haven't been around that long. They maybe been around for a few. I haven't seen them around. Like they're not way back in the day towing companies like Area Towing and Boston Towing and stuff like that. So these could be like new coming tow truck companies coming up. I'm not too sure how old they are. I have to do the research and find out how how old MJS Towing is. I got a lot of stuff on my plate, so I, as time goes, I will do the research. Or well, usually, what happens? Some of my viewers usually send me a note and say they they were established back in 2000 or something like that, you know. So it's MJS Towing. I'm not even sure how many trucks they have on the road. I know they got at least four, but we can always figure that out too. Now this company here, I noticed they're not taking any pictures of the vehicle, so I don't know if they do that afterwards. Some some tow truck companies take pictures now. You got an oversized load coming through here too, you guys. See that, the oversized load over there? Take a picture of him in a second. How you doing, my man? Fast job. You get quick and easy. Got an oversized load coming through here too. This, this, this now this is where the accident start when cars trying to pass that vehicle right there. Now I see this happen all the time. There's gonna be a car that's gonna try to pass this truck and get hit. I guarantee you, somewhere down the city, somebody's gonna try to pass that truck and get hit. It's almost guaranteed. I've seen it happen before. They're going to try to pass them on left or right and they're going to get creamed. It happened down um, on Mass Ave one time. They're going to try to pass them on the left or the right and, and they're going to get jacked up. You're going to have another accident down the street. <laughs> don't, don't. I hope it don't happen, but if it does happen, you know why. <laughs> Take care, guys. So now he's doing the inventory. He, he did a good job getting that off the street, though. I, I know you guys are busy, man. It's, you had another one down the street? Uh-huh. That's small. They got two wide loads. Oh, they got two of them coming? Wow, that's crazy. They probably bring them to the city, which they shouldn't do at this time anyway, but they do it. Right. But this is... This they're supposed to plan that with the with the city mayor or the governor, but they don't do that. They, they're, you're right. They're supposed to do that. 
Nobody, nobody notifies people when they do that kind of stuff. When you bring heavy loads like that to the city, you're supposed to notify people too. But unfortunately, they don't. He said he said he would have got that hit quicker, but they got Blue Hill Ave locked up because they're bringing two heavy load, oversized loads like the first one through the city, which is kind of dangerous at this time of day. Hey right, guys, I'm gonna head up out of here. Um, hopefully everybody's be safe out there. Uh, every guy's gotta try to be safe out there. All these heavy equipment trucks like this, there should be a time frame when you can use these heavy equipment through the city. Especially on peak hours, they shouldn't be using peak hours like that. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of heavy equipment going in and out of the city. And the mayor's not doing anything about it. Like, this, this is the mayor's city. The mayor has a lot of control of a city, whether you know it or not. Mayors have more power than they think they have. But a mayor can say, I don't want heavy equipment coming to my city at a certain time. And they have to abide by those rules. So, I blame the mayor for a lot of stuff that goes on in the city. People say, oh, it's not her fault, she's new at it. Don't take the position if you can't do the job. That's the way we look at it. Do not take a position if you cannot do it. You should have said, I cannot fulfill this position. Give it to somebody else who can. Simple as that. I mean, we respect you if you said you couldn't do the job, rather than when you take the job and can't do the job. Now, I would have more respect for somebody if they said I can't do it. I, I just can't, you know what I mean? And, and there's no shame in that. If you don't know how to do it, you don't know how to do it. Yeah. But when you surround yourself with people that don't know how to do it, that makes it even worse. And our infrastructure on traffic lights is, is outdated anyway. Yeah. We have a very outdated traffic grid. Very, very outdated. And they spend more money putting up unnecessary traffic lights than fixing the grid in the right, in the right way. Yeah. Alright guys, this is the end of the accident. 912. Until next time. 912, you can wrap it, that can head to Regina Road. Next quarter, I'll catch you on the next one. I'll probably be back here again for All another right. accident. Well, we'll get somebody out of roll call. More likely the way these people are driving. Thank you. Catch you guys on the next one.